Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing the bride or die makeup tag. And I decided to do this because I have a specific makeup that I cannot live without. I mean, I'm always open to try every single uh, foundation, every single different mascara and lipstick, whatever. There is some makeup that I just can't live without and I haven't changed in like years. So with that said, let's get started. <laughs> Included it just because I do not have a ride or die um, primer, but this one right here by Maybelline is doing wonders to my face. You have no idea. Like since I started using it, a lot of people have been commenting that my makeup looks different, that I look more awake, my makeup looks looks fresh. Immediate change to my face. It is the primer. Now, as right now, this one is my go-to, but. I have a couple that I want to try. If you have any ideas, leave it in the comment section below. So far, this is my favorite and I love it. It is by Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. And it is on the shade 300. It is uh, the green one. So they, I know they have a couple of different colors. This one controls redness and blur. So it actually works for me because my face gets really, really red in weird spots. So it works for me. Now, this is one foundation that I cannot not live without. Okay, I started using it probably about, um, I wanna say, yeah, almost a year ago, and I cannot live without it. I tried many foundations, many foundations, a lot, a lot. And don't get me wrong, there are some that are super expensive, that I love, that they're like amazing, but for the price, for how much I use it every single day because I have to go to work and I have to look decent, so yeah, you know, this this is like, I need to have the foundation. Like if I run out of foundation, I, I die, I die. L'Oreal Pro Matte, like I love it. And I use it on the shade 105 and also 106. So 106, I use, I use it more during summer. However, I always mix them depending how I feel and depending what I actually want to do, what kind of look I want to do. This one is empty, the 106 is then empty. This one I just got it. I think I go through maybe one of these a month, probably or every two months. You guys have no idea. And it's full coverage and it looks, I don't know if you, can, you guys can see it on the camera because of course I don't use a professional camera, I use my phone, but it looks really, really great. I tend to touch my face a, a, a lot and I it tends to get greasy around these areas and I feel with this, it's just like, you know, $10. This is like the best drugstore foundation. I've been using a lot, a lot of name foundations for a long time. And after a while, they, my face breaks out or something happens to my skin or they change the formula. And I have very, very, very sensitive skin. So this one, it totally does the job for me. I haven't break out from it. You know, it doesn't make my skin dry. Perfect, perfect. I love it. So another thing that I can live without, and it's because I, either have a great night of sleep or a terrible night of sleep. I'm always like working so much so my schedule is not like, especially because I tend to overthink a lot and it happens when I'm trying to sleep. So these two pair, this one is uh, from Smashbox. It is the, um, what is it? It's the color corrector and I use it underneath my eyes because if not, you will see pure black and tiredness. I use it, it is the orange one, and it changed my life. I cannot explain to you how much I use this. So I started using it use underneath my eyes, but now I put it right here in the corner because for some people, I don't know, at least for me, it tends to get very dark in the corner, in the inside of my eye, like right here. And then also right here in my mouth. So I use it there as well. It works, trust me, it works, it totally changed my makeup, it totally changed uh, how it looks. I put that concealer by itself and then I put it with this. You can tell the difference, especially if you had a bad night sleep. Naked, mm -mm -mm. one of my favorite concealers ever. And it made it to this list because I can only without it. I'm always about full coverage, full coverage, full coverage. But this one is so light and it has such a great coverage that I cannot explain to you. Like I cannot live without it. I'm actually almost out of it and I have to go and get another one because, yeah, like I destroy it. I use it and I love it. It is 
not only a concealer, it's a great highlighter as well. Um, it is on the shade medium light neutral and I use it all the way here and I put it on after I use this baby and it just looks great it makes me feel awake it brings like so much light underneath my eyes and it covers perfectly my skin tends to be a little more drier so underneath my eyes I have wrinkles <laughs> yes I have wrinkles because I'm old and I use full coverage and I tried a lot of different full coverage ones I still looking for the perfect one after a little bit I have creases you can tell that I'm an old lady so with this one it provides enough coverage where I look normal and I, it doesn't look like I slept on a dumpster hydrates my under eye so much that I don't have to retouch it for the rest of the day so if you guys try it let me know what you think in the comment section below because I do love it but if you have any other you know other any other concealers that you think that I should try then let me know this powder this translucent powder I love it now I used to use Mac Studio Fix and that one is big time one of my ride or dies I'm not using it right now because like I said my skin tends to get very dry and um, I get an allergic reaction for a lot of things so I stopped using my own regular makeup that I used to use all the time and I started changing a little to see what was causing my allergic reactions and I noticed it was my foundation the studio fix from Mac I love it I love it I love it amazing I don't have it with me but I love it me trying to find out new things I came across Lomers here translucent powder and it was a match made in heaven I love it actually completely out of it no more I ran out of it like two days ago <laughs> Why? Why? I need to buy it. Most, not most of my makeup, but I need to buy a bunch of stuff, okay? A bunch. And there, you cannot do anything without your beauty blender. Trust me, trust me. It just like totally changes your makeup. So I will have it a little bit damp. Tuk, tuk, tuk. Underneath my eye, so you can't see my wrinkles. And it looks beautiful. Beautiful. Let me tell you. And then I, with a, you know, powder brush. I used to go all around my face, but if you want to try it under your eyes, it works perfect. Just get a damp beauty blender, you know. If not, it's gonna look cakey. I cannot live without false lashes. I love them, I love them, I love them. I love them. I discovered this app, cute, that is from wish.com, and they sell lashes for one dollar. Yes, five birds for one dollar. So I've been trying a bunch of them. I actually have some coming, I order like a thousand. But I used to use the Ardell, um, what is it? The Ardell 105, and those are my favorites, all-time favorites, and I love them, and I always had to have a thousand pairs of it. I found these ones at cute.com. They are $1 for five pairs, and they are extremely similar to the Ardell ones. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they are extremely, extremely close to them. The only difference is that here, this part that goes to your eye is super super thin so at the beginning it might be a little bit annoying trying to put them especially if you don't have experience put them putting them on totally worth it though um, after a little bit I got used to it and I mean I have them on today what do you guys think I love them one thing lashes or no lashes <sighs> telescopic mascara from L'Oreal I've been using it for about eight years I will never stop using it I tried 1,000 mascaras they're never the same they never do justice to my lashes I don't have short lashes I have decent length uh, lashes and I don't like curling them this this that's the job oh my god guys yes I mean it's not brand or whatever L'Oreal is amazing Come on now, come on now. I cannot live with it without this one. I mean, I go through them like they're candy. Here is Grey Lash, it's by Maybelline. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's my Maybelline, okay? It's um, clear mascara and when worse happen, and I, for some reason I can't find my mascara, I put my false lashes and I use this one, the clear mascara. It's just literally clear use plain I use it also for my eyebrows because I don't have any specific eyebrow pencil or eyebrow 
um, pomade or anything like that. I used to have, I used to use this, and then I think I made a video out of it. And then I just my favorite palette of all times, the Morphe 350, that I can live without because I use it, and you guys can tell for my lashes. I mean, for my lashes. I use it for my eyebrows. I use this color and I use this one. This one is closer, as you can see, it's almost gone. And then this one right here. Um, I mixed it a little. I will buy this palette, 20 of them, just, just to do my eyebrows. That, I don't know how to explain to you guys. Those colors are the perfect colors for my eyebrows. That's it. Look at this palette, it's just beautiful. I mean, I just love it. Love it. Morphe, love it. Another thing that I cannot live without, it is that uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. <sighs> since, I, since my friend Fatima told me about it, I'm totally obsessed with it. Guys, it makes a difference for your makeup. It stays longer. Go and buy it now. Just, just go, just go. It's, it's totally worth it. Now, to my lips. For people that know me, for people that don't know me, that have me on Instagram or Snapchat, I always have almost the same lipstick because I love it, like literally, I love it. Um, I try to alternate, but I always go back to this one. And that one is a combination. They're done, they're done. Like they are done. I can't live without them. This one right here, I don't even know which color. Oh, Morning Coffee from MAC. And then we have here, ugh, Best Spoken For from MAC as well. And they're just so beautiful. This one is more of a purplish. This one is more of a neutral that you I use it all the time with any type of uh, lipstick. Any, any, any type of lipstick. I use the Morning Coffee, but when I wanna have this look, I use the best spoken for here is what I fill it in with and look look at this guys <sighs> this is ridiculous look at it look at it yeah I am ridiculous but it is my favorite it is also from Mac it is the world matte <laughs> yes I'm gonna write everything in the description because I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing a lot of things but this lipstick I I can live without, I have, like I said, I have to go makeup shopping. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I wanted to show you guys how much I love these products that literally, I go through them so much that they're all gone, gone. With the lashes, I have to say, it, I cannot use any other glue. I don't know about you guys. If you guys have any recommendations, like I said, comment below. I use the Duo Dark Tone, yes, Dark Tone. And I use it because it is, I feel that the white ones, you can always see them and it just bothers me um, to have to put a liner. I don't use eyeliner every single day. So having the dark tone, it really, really helps just putting the lashes on and not having to do eyeshadows or you know eyeliner if I don't want to. I can just put my eyelashes, then clean it a little and then you won't be able to see the, the glow. So this one, my favorite all time. I've it forever, I think at least eight years or so. I I used to use the white ones, this this one. This one, the dark tone, is the best one. The best one. Really quick, I'm just gonna show you guys my two favorite things that, this one I used since high school. It is the Paul Mitchell, it is the Super Skinny Serum. So my hair right now, I have it. My hair is super curly when it wants, and when it wants, it's wavy, but since I've been using this, all I have to say is good things. Like I use it when I straight my hair, when I want it curly, I use it every single day. Even if I don't wash my hair, I put it on at the ends so my ends don't look dry because I have very dry hair. I cannot live without it. Just keep an emergency one. It's like my safety blanket. That's how much I love this serum. I have a little one in my purse at all times and you guys are gonna think that I'm crazy. But I have this one in my car, well not in my car, in my um, backpack, most of the time that I live in my car. Just in case I lose this one. Ah, don't judge me. Last but not least, I have my favorite, 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 favorite perfume that I have been using since I'm 18. And it is 212 by Carolina Herrera. And Guy, guys, guys, if you guys, 
amazing. It comes with two little bottles. So it comes like this. So it's super cute on top of everything. And then it has another one here that I already just, <laughs> I already destroyed one and this one is halfway done. So, and it's perfect size. Look how little it is. Look, so it fits on your purse. So like I can just go crazy every five minutes and intoxicate everyone around me. <laughs> the smell is so good that nobody complains. You saying. Hope that I didn't forget anything. Um, as you can tell, you know, I have a lot of things that I have to go and buy, but these are like things that I carry with me every single day that I haven't changed for years that are my literally ride or die makeup and they have to they they just make it to the tag because I cannot live without them. Like these are things that I always, always, always have with me, either on my purse or in my backpack because this is my purse pretty much. I do not carry a purse most of the time because I'm always at work. I always have my backpack with me and you can add it to the tag even though it's not makeup because it carries all the makeup that I have. I recommend for you guys to do this tag, it's pretty fun. I mean, most of the things, mascara, foundation, glue, lashes, serum, you know, for my hair. I didn't even have to think twice. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. This is what I need. Of course, my perfume smells so good, but uh, it's fun. It's fun to see how long have you been using certain items and how many times you have been buying them and like, you know, it's crazy. I, it, there's a stuff that I use since high school. So I really recommend for you guys to go and do this tag. And before you do that, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, add me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter because, you know, I just want you guys to comment and follow me so then I can see what you guys think and then I can talk to you guys. I always respond to all my comments and I always respond to all my uh, likes and comments on Instagram. So go, 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 go. Mwah. Thank you so much guys for watching, for supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to 100, 100. Be very, very special. If you guys make it to the first 100 of this family, it would be amazing. And I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And I hope you guys liked this video and I have some more coming. Mwah. See you.